Craig Scott, everyone! <laughs> How are you, darling? I can't talk and pose at the same time. <laughs> I like your suit, Greg. Is it new? Yes, Debbie. It's a new suit. When did you get that? I bought it in June 1986. Uh, no way. Did First you? First time I've worn it. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh, when did you buy it? Sorry? When did you buy it? I bought it two weeks ago in Kingston upon Thames. Lovely. Round of applause for that, please. Round of applause. Have you ever, applause. Have you ever given a tap to a suit before? No, have you? Yeah. What happened? I went to a, a suit show. Yes. This isn't rehearsed, is it? Go on, then. Are you making this up as you go along? That, that was it. I went to a suit show. And you clapped them as they came down the catwalk. Well, if they didn't come down the catwalk, that'd be silly. Greg, what are you talking about? Don't know. Me neither. No. Is your battery on today? Just mm -hmm. turn around, let me wind you up. Is that better? That no, wasn't me winding. Can you be funny now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I'm constantly funny. Jesus! Uh, I don't know, on 656000, I'm going to banish you somewhere where somebody has uh, been banished before. Huh? It's time. This thing's very exciting. Triple C, you are You banished. smell lovely. Thanks. You're banished to the podium of love. Go on, Greg. What are we doing? Ice cream love. flavours. What we had? Coffee, black Not cherry listening. and raspberry ripple spelt wrong. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> raspberry? Where's the P? Yes, there isn't a P. Oh, very bad. You need to go for one, don't you? Do it! <laughs> <laughs> Wiggles, what? What? you're banished to the podium. Get off that the podium. podium. Yes. Right. Go on then. I don't want to leave you. Why? I love you. <laughs> Greg, off you go. I've heard such a nervous laugh before. You're Speed a man. Come on. Man. I've got to go. Yeah. Ah. Why, it's not here. It's a speed round. Snoring right off. <laughs> speed round. Triple money, five minutes, I'll do. Who wants to be first to speak to Greggles then? Come on then, let's bring it on. Not you. You don't speak, you can't string a sentence together, either of you. Hello? 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 Hello, who's this? It's Simon. Hello, Simon. What's your answer, please? Uh, Mandarin. Mandarin? Good try. It's an ice cream flavour. That's what we're looking for. And we're looking, it has to be said, for the more unusual ones. Now we're looking for the bigger money answers. 0901 656 6000. <laughs> Debbie King, back tomorrow night. And I will be, but I've not gone yet. Hello. Hello, it's Luke from Wolverhampton. It's Luke from Wolverhampton, one of our regulars. How are you, buddy? All right, it's you. Are you going to take a big wedge of money? Yes. And in answer to your question, yes, I'm fine, thank you. What is your answer for this? Root beer float. You've been on the internet, haven't you? Yes. Yes. Root beer float. <laughs> Fantastic answer. Exactly the, the kind of answer we're looking for. However, it wasn't one of the predetermined answers. The internet may be a way to go on this. Here's the next caller on the game. Hello. On, not on the game, on this game. Hello. 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 Who are you, madam? Alicia. Alicia, nice. Mm. Have you got the key to this answer? Uh, go for it, Alicia, key. Um. <laughs> How's her attic doing? Um, tiramisu. Tiramisu! It's different to coffee. Coffee ice cream and tiramisu flavour ice cream are two different things. Oh and tiramisu could have been there, but it wasn't. 3.15 left on the clock. Those chicken nuggets are really nice. They're actual chunks of meat, aren't they? Not mushed up. Rubbish. Very, very nice. Very high quality. Hello? Hello? Hello, who's this? It's Alex. Alex! Good luck to you, buddy. What you got? Uh, mint. Mint. No, that makes me sick. Mint. No, no mint. No mint. Two forty-six. And ticking down for triple money. Triple money. Minimum win £3,000. Top price 15000 Hello? Hello. Hi, who's this? It's Kevin. Kevin, where are you? I'm in Scotland. Hey, Kevin. What you got? Uh, mascarpone. Mascarpone. Oh, nice and creamy. Is it there? <laughs> nope, not there. Sorry. 
I, uh, I was in Scotland, uh, well, I was going to say this morning. Uh, uh, it is technically speaking, because I haven't been to bed yet. But uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I flew down from Glasgow, uh, London, and taxi was messed up. And so I had to jump in a cab to, to take me home and pay for two cabs, in effect. I, oh, you don't want to know. Hello. Hello. Hi, who's this? It's Richard. Hi, Richard. Are you feeling lucky? Sort of. Sort of. Well, let's see what we can do. Go on. Uh, pistachio. Pistachio! Unlucky. Sorry, not there. One of the most common wrong answers that we've had to... I mean, it's... it's well, it's not wrong, because it is a flavour of ice cream, but it's just not one of the predetermined answers, and that's what this game's all about. We've chosen seven. You tell me one of the ones that we've chosen. Hello? Hello. Hi, who's this? Uh, it's Chris. Chris, hello to you. Ice cream flavours is, is the category. What you got? Uh, butterscotch. Butterscotch. Not there. Sorry. Sorry. You're right to have a go. Of course you're right to have a go. Everybody's right to have a go because there is all this money floating around. 60 pence, the average cost of a phone call to Quizmania. Compare that against what you could win. I think you know you're right to give us a call. Hello? Hello there. Hello there. Who's this? It's Keith from the Hazy Middlesex. Keith, good luck. Ice cream flavours. What's your right. answer? Orange. Orange? As simple as that. Is it there? Not there. Orange ice cream. I like it. Orange is one of the most popular flavours of other things in the world. But on, it ice cream, not a particularly well-known ice cream flavour, but it does exist. Right to go for it, Keith. Hello? Hello? Hi, who's this? Linda. Hello, Linda. Good luck, my love. What you got? Strawberry. Strawberry. Not there. Sorry, Linda. 24 seconds left of this triple money speed round. I don't know when triple money's going to disappear. It's not going to be in play for the game's entirety. So you've got to strike while the iron is hot. It's on three dots. It's on cotton. Hello? Hello? Hello, who's this? Siobhan. Hello, Siobhan. Where are you? Belfast. Get back! What's your dog called? Jack. What sort is it? Uh, what is it? A what, sorry? Uh, what about I? A rabbit? A whippet. A whippet? Yeah. <laughs> it's got a deep voice for a whippet, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. They normally go, <laughs> and they also go, oh. <laughs> Are you sure it's a whippet? Yeah. I think the pet shop's for it to off, love. <laughs> oh, no. uh, what's your answer? Um, lavender. You, sorry, lavender? Yeah. I've never heard of that, but that's what we're going for, lavender. Not there. Not there. What was that, producer Stu? Stop the music, please! <laughs> Helping you here. Producer Stu has just said... Answers that are herbs. What an interesting notion. <laughs> what can he mean? Triple money is going to be in play for the next five callers only. After that, the money drops. I'll say this once more and once more only. Then those who come rolling in towards the end of the show... Ah, sod them. Listen, producer Stu has just said... Because our last caller said lavender, producer Stu said... That's producer Stu. Herbs. An interesting way to go. Now, whether he's leading me down a blind alley, he's led me through down a few darkened ones. He's leading me down a blind alley, I don't know. But if he's leading me down a blind alley, he's leading you down one as well. I've got a feeling that, even by his standards, would be remarkably unfair. So what do you think, hey? Go down that route if you want, if you want to go down another. Have you got an answer totally unrelated to that clue? You can bring that into play, but the minimum win for the next five callers, £3,000. 15 grand top prize in play. Hello, who's there, please? Hello. 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 Who's this? It's Mark. Mark, where are you? Mark, where are you? I'm in uh, Bolton, mate. All oh, right. Mark, triple Hello. money. Go for it. Yeah. Uh, mint. Mint chocolate. Uh, mint. People keep saying mint. Mint, is it there? 
Well, I've just said, I've just said, is it there? And I've just said, oh. and people keep saying, it's, yeah, it's not there, it's not there, it's not there. It's not there. Four more callers for triple money. Look what triple I've got. Money. Look what I've got. She's such a big fan of the show, and we love it a bit. Gwen in Thornbury, one of our, shall we say, more senior viewers, loves the show, sent me presents. There's, um... Oh. That. An accordion-playing, um... I think it's, I think it's a cat. Well, no, it's a policeman. No, it's not a policeman. It's a, it's a, it's a sort of a German cat playing the accordion. I think it's been made from leftovers. Um, uh, and then we've got um, a postcard from Mallorca, where Gwen's son has just been. Uh, and there we are, Mallorca. And for some reason, uh, there. I, uh, can you explain that to me? What is the thinking behind this? It's a, it's a, it's a cat on the podium in first place in the gold medal position, and then sort of. Um, what a good idea! Uh, and, and, and Gwen, as I say, is from Thornbury, and we've got a lovely picture of Thornbury on this postcard. In fact, four pictures of Thornbury. That's a lovely church, lovelier even than Charlotte. Uh, that's Gwen's house, I think. Uh, that's some sort of metal framework, uh, like a cheese bell thing. Uh, and that's nice. So there you are. Thor Gwen, thank you all. Thank you for all of this. Once again, always sending me lovely things. Thank you. You don't have to. You don't have to. But if anybody else wants to, hey, look, Quizmania. It's like I'm begging. Quizmania PO Box 5, please send me stuff. Quizmania PO Box 5008, London. W1A1WG. Uh, James Attlee as well has been in touch. James, thank you for your present. James has sent me a lion, uh, which could actually have a fight later on with the cat playing the accordion with a silly hat. It, it could happen. Live on the show later. Don't touch that dial. Hello. Hello. Hi, who's this? I'm Joby. What's your name, sorry? Joby, Joby. Joby? Yeah. Joby. J-O-V-I-E. Jovi! Oh, très bon. Jovi. Mm-hmm. Bon. How was it, Greg? Jovi. Sky, when you went like that then, I saw all your belly. Disgusting. Was it was there. horrible. Big rolls of fat. Uh, anyway, uh, Jovi, welcome to the show. Where are you from? I'm from London. Good. Ice cream flavours is the category. Go mm -hmm. for it. Malibu. Malibu. Mm, I'm saying, mm, I don't drink. Malibu, is it there? <laughs> Not there. No Malibu. Other rum based drinks are available, such as um, rum. Yeah. R. Triple money only for the next. Three callers. Let's say hello to everybody I met in Glasgow. I was in Glasgow uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Came back this, uh, this morning and everybody is so, so delightful. Got to say hello to Ryan, who made rather a, rather a, a show of me on, I think they pronounce it Socky Hall Street. Yes, right bang in the city centre. And uh, Ryan in front of two lovely police ladies my, oh my, oh my. You did draw attention to me, didn't you? Thanks for that. I've just been called Debbie by my director. Thank you for that, Mark. His name is Mark, he's just asked me to stand on my mark. There's only one mark I'll be standing on if he calls me Debbie again. Can we get one, can I get in one of Debbie's corsets? Oh, yeah. With her in it? I'll see you try. Hey, I'm Greg Scott. I'm live on Quizmania. I'm stood on my mark. And I'm waiting for you to give me a call. Because only the next three callers are going to be playing for triple money. After that! After that, so I've got no voice left after the uh, penalties. Why don't they just have a nice game of plunk to decide it? Hello? Hello? Anybody there? Three, two, one. You're out of here, I'm sorry. We'll keep it at three callers. We're not, we're not mean. Three callers for triple money. Did you watch it? Of course he did. 
penalties. There has got to be a better way. Kaplunk is a silly idea. <coughs> Who can spit the further? They're always spitting, aren't they? <coughs> Hello? Hello? Hello, who's this? Sarah. Sarah, what do you think about footballers who spit? Disgusting. It is, isn't it? I mean, when Portugal were... were, were when they won, they all went sliding, didn't they, on their bellies, where, just a few moments ago, everyone was... Uh, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> oh, you just went... <laughs> um, Sarah? Yes? What's your answer? Neapolitan. Neapolitan? That's a bit of chocolate, a bit of vanilla and a bit of strawberry all in one. Is yeah. it there? Neapolitan. <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. Two more callers for triple money. You're looking at me, aren't you? Are you? I haven't seen you for a few days, are you alright? Hmm? Oh, I know, I know, I know. Don't let it get you down, it's just football. Ignore all that. Good now, finish. Four years' time, we'll go through it all again. Let's, co let's not even think about the football anymore. Let's congratulate Andrew Murray for knocking out number three seed Andy Roddick in Wimbledon. Very, very well played. Of course, if Andy, according to the press and according to all the TV news, if Andy Murray would have lost, it would have been Scotland's Andrew Murray lost today. But because he's won, Britain's Andrew Murray has won. It's always the way it works. Not so close. You're too close. You're invading my space, honestly. Been awake for... Been awake for... Been awake for 20 hours. And I'm not looking... About. Yeah, 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 yeah. Would it be quite good if you could have hit focus? <laughs> Hello, who's there? Ben Miller. Sorry? Ben Miller. Is, is that your name? Yeah, uh, E. Swanston. What's your name, sorry? E. 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 S. S. W. A. N. S. T. U. N. Is it there? Vanilla! It's not there. Sorry, sorry. They never call when King's on, do they? No, no. <laughs> Triple money, one more caller. If you want to maximise your potential cash win, you've got to pick up the phone now. I'm about to turn to camera two. <clears throat> Told you. You know, in the football, England-Portugal, you know how in the score in the top corner of the screen, it said E-N-G, ing, and P-O-R, poor, for Portugal. E-N-G, P-O-R, ing and poor. It got me thinking, and I was thinking, isn't it a good job that there isn't a competition where Arsenal can play Holland? It's a spirit! It's not a speed round. Who the hell pressed that button? Don't try and cover it. Heads will roll. Could have been worse. Only one more caller is going to play for triple money. After that, we take triple money and we put it to bed. 
read it a story and say night night mm. we like triple money Arsenal in Holland think about it Mania. Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan. Where are you calling from? Blythe. Where, sorry? Blythe. Blythe. There are two Blythes. Is this the Northumberland Blythe or the Nottinghamshire Blythe? Northumberland. Nice one. Nice one. Tell you what, buddy. Possible £15,000 if you give me that top answer. At least £3,000 up for grabs. What Chocolate. answer is going to fall from your face? Chocolate. Chocolat! No! No, 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 no! Triple money goes, let's get, let's take it away. Take it away. Take it away. Take it away. We can't find the button. There we go. It's gone. It's gone. Show you something. Show you something. Come out there. Come out there. Bite from when we were filming in Hyde Park oh. the other day. See that? Sorry, man. <clears throat> Sharing that with you. The next caller could win an extra £5,000. It's something we like to call a. Well, we don't like to call it that. It was just an idea that we had. Um, £5,000 bonus, then. Minimum win, £6,000. The possibility of £10,000 if you are the next caller through with the right answer. Got a letter here from Felicity Maycock. Dear Greg Alls, my best mate really likes you and she thinks you're the best. Doesn't say as what. Um, would you be able to say hi to her? She is called Kerry. Aww. Kerry. Hi. Imagine what's happened to Kerry now. Kerry's just seen me go like that exclusively to her. She is now a gibbering wreck. Gibbering wreck. Kerry. Don't worry, love. I, uh, I understand. Hey, James Attlee. James Attlee, who sent me uh, that. This is what he looks like. He's, he's pretending in this photograph to be a Quizmania presenter. Here is James Attlee. Hello, you're live on Quizmania. Hello. Hello, who's this? Alexander. Alexander, how's your ragtime band? <laughs> he's heard it all his life, fed up of it. Alexander, welcome to you. Where are you calling from? Macduff, Scotland. Macduff! Oh, that's, um, isn't it? Macduff, isn't it? Shakespeare-y thing, isn't it? That's Macbeth. No! The person that killed Macbeth was Macduff, wasn't it? Alexander. I think so, yeah. Yeah? Look behind me, it says bus. Um, Alexander, <laughs> for a £5,000 bonus on top of the money that's already there, what's your answer, please? Cola? Cola ice cream. I'm kind of liking that, because it's unusual. Is it there? <laughs> Unlucky, Alexander, it's not there. Well, I'm touching myself there. I'm turning into Michael Jackson. What's happening now? What? What? <laughs> no! Stop the music, please! <laughs> I think I need to spell this out in no uncertain terms. No matter which answer you come up with now, be it that one there or that one there, if you are correct, you will win a bonus £10,000. Now you know what sort of a fuss we made of £5,000, what sort of a bonus in musical terms is £10,000. Let's find out. No, you didn't take the hint, did you? No. <laughs> what sort of... Stop the music, please. Right. 
What sort of a bonus is that in musical terms? We should never bleed a nest. Ten thousand pounds bonus. Come on now, ice cream flavors. Oh nine zero one six five six six thousand. I shouldn't have clapped my hands because I've hurt my hand. Um, hey, just while waiting for a caller, and that caller is going to come through sometime within the next three minutes. Um, email from Lynn, dear Greg. Please could you send me a picture of yourself because I love watching you on Quizmania. Lynn, um, I know that we set quiz questions. You set one of your own here because you haven't given us. Your address. We can't just write. Can't just write on an envelope, Lynn. Oh. Give it to the post. Uh, can you can you deliver that, please? We don't know. Lynn, send your address, love. We'll sort that out for you. Uh, on the uh, subject of photos, if you do want to sign photo, photos at quizmania.tv. But those who get priority are those of you who send a large stamped addressed envelope. Easy for us to administer that, and we can sort that out for you. The address at the bottom of the screen, underneath the phone number, from time to time. What's that, mate? Oh, is that for Lynn? Um, could you could you deliver that? Deliver that, please. Thank you. Not a first class male. 10,000. Look, look. 10,000 pound bonus. That, that, no, we could have shared the shot then. We could have shared the shot. Don't, don't, don't cut me out again. Um, <laughs> now. Oh, they're they, the chicken nuggets. You brought them in. Good man. Thank you. Look, you know, chicken nuggets. And about 90% of the time, they are mushed up stuff. Look at this here. If I break this in half, can, can, can I show this? Look at this. This is just solid breast meat. I'm a big fan of solid breast. That's fantastic. How are you? Not too bad, not too bad. Good man. All right, it's a 10,000... Excuse me a minute. It's a 10,000 pound bonus, Gerald. Ger Gerald? Gerard. Gerard? Yeah. As in cross. OK. 10 grand bonus. Yeah. What you got for me? Uh, garlic. Now, before we say if that is there or not, I have just heard from the production gallery, I've just heard an, ooh, I don't know what that indicates. Is it there for Gerard? It's Garlic. Still here. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, 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 they're saying now, we did say earlier, and we did say this earlier, Herbs. Think herbs. Somebody came on and said lavender, which I know is strictly a flower, but it can be a herby type adornment as well. Think herbs. And think the return of the £10,000 bonus, because that is only for the next five callers. £10,000 bonus. Those chicken lumps. Ooh. I know what part of a chicken chicken wings come from. And I know what part of a chicken chicken breast comes from. Where are its nuggets? It's a thought, isn't it? <laughs> Hello, who's there? <laughs> What's your name, sorry? Viv. Viv? 
Viv. Viv, you're coming through very faintly, my darling. If you can shout up for me, my sweetie pie. Where are you calling from, Viv? It's Liz, L-I-Z. Liz. Ah, you're coming through a bit clearer now, Liz. Excellent stuff. Well, let's get your answer while we can hear you. Ice cream flavours, ten grand bonus. Go for it. Cinnamon. You're going for cinnamon? <laughs> it's not there. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know if you could hear this guy in the background. That's not a herb. That's not a herb. You take this too seriously. It's not Sorry. like you can win the money. Sorry. I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited as well. That's why I'm still behind this desk. Four callers. The next four callers are ten grand bonus. That's oh, so guy excited. Oh, do you know, there are some times doing this show, I wish we could do action replays. All right, yeah. Four callers. 0901 656 6000. Only four callers will get a go at this 10 grand bonus. There's a card here that says you're a star, which I don't know why we're advertising trains to Paris, but there we are. <laughs> um, from um, Ruth Bromilo. I did mention on the air uh, a few weeks ago, I gave a clue as to what my favourite bar of chocolate was. And uh, Ruth Bromilo is the only one of you that took the hint uh, and sent it in. So thank you so much, Ruth. I got it. And the card that goes with it reads as follows. Hello, Greggles, my sexy hunk. Ooh. Oh. Should have gone to Specsavers or any other. Uh, opticians. A few weeks ago, says Ruth, you mentioned your favourite chocolate bar, so I'm sending you this, uh, hoping it is the correct one and that you enjoy it. It, it is the correct one, Livy. Uh, please send me something back of yours. Um, thank you for being a presenter on Quizmania, she says. You really cheer me up. I look forward to every programme you do. Can you do more hours? No. No, I can't. Not unless they reinvent the clock and put 60 hours in a day. <laughs> Sorry, I can't do it. Hello! Hello! Hi! 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 Who's this? Tracy from Lincoln. Tracy from Lincoln. Why are you up so late, Tracy? I've got a broken hip. No! Oh. How did you do that? Fell down the stairs. How did you do that? Fell down the stairs. How did you do that? How, Tracy? I fell down the stairs. No, no, I hear you, love, but I think you're dodging the issue, and maybe for a good reason. How did you fall down the stairs? I tripped over my dressing gown. Were you wearing it, or was it at the top of the stairs? I was wearing it. Got my leg caught on the belt. Bit bloody clumsy, aren't you, love? I was a bit, yeah. Yeah. So how long is, uh, are you going to be all sort of plastered up? About six to eight weeks. Wow. What you want to do, you want to go to the Royal Chemists. Right. Yeah. No, I don't know if you're aware of this. They've got, they've got a Royal Chemist now. And what you can do, you can get some lotion to, to rub on the top of your leg. Uh, in fact, there's an advertising slogan to go with it. It says, buy Royal Hip Ointment. All right. Will you come and rub it on? You've been a bit pervy now, aren't you, Tracy? <laughs> I know it's late night television. It I'm, late night telly, isn't it? I'm well aware of that. Well, but keep the spirits up somehow. But the state that you're in, you won't be able to get your leg over anyway, so I wouldn't bother. Oh. Don't worry about it. Oh. Tracy, sorry. Can I just remind you, this is not a private call. No, um, it's not. No. Hmm. Just cheerful. This is medication. You are cheerful, love, and a bit forward as well. Um, for a possible £15,000 to make you forget your troubles. They're telling you you're wrong before you've said it. Oh, he pressed the wrong... Oh, I pressed the wrong... I pressed the wrong button. I'm sorry. Uh, right, OK. What have you got for me, Tracy? Gooseberry. Well, I know I am, but... <laughs> you say gooseberry, is it there? Tracy, off you go with your wonky hip. Tracy, with a broken hip. We particularly want to hear from you tonight if you've broken anything. Poor girl. I'm a, I mean, you know, she's in trouble. I want to give her a hug. But somehow, I don't think I'd escape her clutches alive. Deary me. What? 
Yeah, let's do him. Not well, let's show him. Uh, the King of Quizmania for tonight. Here he is. King of Quizmania. King of Quizmania. All the some details about this crazy guy. Let me tell you about him. Hi. Sorry to bother you. It's Matthew Sunderland, and here is my picture. I would like to be king. Matthew Sunderland. Sutherland, I beg your pardon. Uh, you are the king of Quizmania for tonight. There you are, with king your big eyes Quizmania. and your Hail! curly hair. Hail! 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 Hail indeed. Do you know, I, I, while I've been working up in Glasgow, I was talking to a producer, and he said, I was producing a quiz show about three years ago, and one of the questions was, what was Hitler's first name? This is absolutely true. What was Hitler's first name? And this contestant buzzed in and said, is it Heil? You can't, you can't write it, can you? Queen of Quizmania! Let's meet the Queen of Quizmania. Queen of Quizmania! And her details are really, really handily on the back of the frame, totally in an inaccessible area. Uh, there we are. Uh, that's our Queen of Quizmania. This is... Marie. I think, hang on, sorry, I'm speed reading this. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Yes, it's Marie. Uh, this is uh, mum of Vicky. And she is our queen of Quizmania for today, looking delighted to be so. Uh, if you would like to be king or queen of Quizmania, you might or you might not know what to do. You can email photos, king or queen at quizmania.tv, or you can send them by post. On the phone right now, though, is. Hello? Hello, this is Carl from Chester. Carl from Chester, the land of Hollyoaks. How are you? I'm not too bad. How's yourself? I'm all right. I've got a new suit, Carl. Uh, I like it a lot. Thanks, mate. It's brown with a pink pinstripe. I've just bought a blue one with a black pinstripe. You have? Yeah. Have you? Pinstripes are the in thing, aren't they? Inch thick, the pinstripes. Inch thick? In between each one. Oh! Right, so how thick are the actual stripes? Oh, same as yours. Right. Yeah. The, these are about uh, an inch and a half apart, these stripes. Oh, are they? Yeah. <laughs> uh. Anyway, um, good luck to you. Ice cream yeah. flavours, ten gram bonus, etc., etc. What's your answer, please? I think pistachio. Pistachio. I'm afraid that everybody who's been watching this game since the start has just screamed because we've had that answer so many times. Ah, we've had that answer so many times. Oh, why? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello, who's this? It's David. David, where are you? Uh, near Dunstable. Oh, right, in Bedfordshire. Yes. Hmm. Isn't it about time you were in Bedfordshire? Definitely. Yeah. But Quizmania is keeping you up? Yes. We've got a lot to answer for. Uh, good luck, mate. Ten grand bonus for you. You're the penultimate player playing for it. What you got? Uh, peppermint. Peppermint ice cream. We've had a lot of people say mint. We always ask for specific answers. What about peppermint? Not there. That's kind of herby, isn't it? I mean, mint is a... Is mint officially a herb? I think it is, isn't it? I don't know what else it would be. So, we've said think herbs. If you want to take that as a clue and utilise that clue, jump on the internet, have a look. Flavours of ice cream. One of these is Herbie. Not like the uh, Volkswagen. Uh, ten grand bonus. One more player for that bonus. After that, you play for these prizes alone with that bonus. Can't say I didn't tell you. So if you want to win a 10 grand bonus, if you're confident that your answer has not been said so far, it might be one of these. <laughs> and we have a caller on the air. Hello. Hi. Hi, who's this? It's Joan. Joan? Joan. Joan. Where are you, Joan? In Glasgow. I was in Glasgow. Yeah, I know. I was staying at a hotel on Bath Street. Just up the road from me. From you? Yep. I could have stayed at yours. You could have done, In yes. the spare room? Yep. Yeah. Is the spare room next to your room? It sure is. 
Is there a hole in the wall between the no, two? No, but I could arrange one to be there. Mm. I, w I, w I would have let you look. <laughs> um, Joan? Yes? Isn't it noisy on, on, on that street, isn't it? On, it on... is very noisy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The double glazing, still heard everyone go, yeah, like that. <laughs> um, two o'clock in the morning, ridiculous. It's anyway, Joan, now. it is. Awful. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, ice cream flavours. You're the last Sa person playing for a ten grand bonus. Go for it. Saffron. Saffron. You've picked up on the clue, but is it one of the remaining four answers on the game? Saffron. Oh, no. So what can it be? Stop the music. Zick. A little bit later on, we'll be having our musical item for tonight. It's the Svenger Boys with their new song, Oh, We're Going Home to England. But, first of all, a clue. It didn't deserve one. It does. No, it doesn't deserve one of these. Behave yourselves. Oi, right, hey, get your right, cackers back here. When you're finished. One of these answers, and I am amazed. Now, I've just been told this answer in my ear. I am amazed that nobody has said this yet. One of these answers. Think biscuits. Think a type of biscuit. Think what Americans call biscuits. Penguin. And the raw material that they are made from. Oh, well done, Sky. This guy, see, he's playing. You are taking this so seriously tonight. Sorry. This is unbelievable. Hey, hey, no, no, no. Hold your head up high and be proud because you got okay. it right. <laughs> <laughs> Still, the hand of loneliness is being a bit violent tonight. So, come on now. It, 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 what, 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 don't Americans call biscuits cookies? Sure, they do. Play the music, please. It's worth at least a grand, and we'll take a caller within the next three minutes. 0901 656 6000. Maybe two words, maybe one word's cookie. Get mad. Maybe. Maybe it's the raw material that cookies are made from. <laughs> Just while waiting for you to pick up the phone and call me. Um, I'm seeing a doctor tomorrow. Good on you. Um, hey, Mike James and family from Lee in Lancashire. Um, apparently, the James family in Lee in Lancashire, their puppy, Jess, don't know where they've got that name from, uh, their puppy, Jess, loves me. And here is a photo of the puppy declaring its love oh. for me. Of course. Oh. There it is, sat in a puddle of its own whittle. There you go. That's a letter. Um, Sky, come here, mate. Got an email here. It says, mm. Hi, Greggles. We'd just like to say I really enjoyed watching you on the big QM. I heard on the show that someone named a hamster after you. You're absolutely right. Uh, this is from Dee, by the way. Hello, Dee. Uh, she says, well, guess what? I've named something after you, too. But for some reason, you don't look too happy about it. And there's a photo. And, um... I can't show this on television. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's... Is that legal? That is? is that legal? It's legal, oh, but okay. it's indecent. Yeah, blimey. That is a scary thought. That's scary. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the hand of love says that you should burn it. If there's any police, you should I'm be careful down there. Thanks, D. I think. Ooh. What? I'll show you after, after we've gone off the air. Um, one minute at the most before we take our next caller. Think, cookie something, cookie something. If you get the wrong answer, you'll probably go, no! Oh! Was that a subliminal clue? No, it was a bleeding obvious one. 40 seconds. Stop the music, please. The next sound you will hear on Quizmania will be the sound 
of a telephone ringing. After the ticking of a clock. They don't like silences. We like noise. Who? <coughs> Hello? Hello? Hello, who's this? It's, it's Dave from Hatfield. Dave from Hat Hertfordshire? Yes. Hello, mate. How are you? I'm fine, mate. Good man. OK. At, um, oh, the clock's gone. At uh, 3.35 in the morning, it's your turn to win some cash, buddy. What you got okay. for me? What's your answer? I think it's cookie dough. Cookie dough. Dave! Start jumping up and down. You've just won £1,000! Yes. yes! Get in there! And it's going to be with you in about a week's time. That's all it takes to write the cheque and get it in the post and sort it. Dave, stay on the line. We'll take your details. We will get that to you in said seven days. Stop the music, please. <laughs> We're going to do something else for you now. We are now going to get rid of that one and get rid of that one. I want to say get rid of them. I'm going to show you the answers that were there. Then... Oh, there they are. Let me explain. We did say that these were kind of tough, but we did say a herb. Think of a herb. And you might be thinking, rosemary ice cream? Very, very popular in homemade ice cream. And if you don't believe me, stick it in the internet, in a search engine. Do it. Rosemary ice cream. Graham, yeah, you might have heard of a cereal called something Graham's. Uh, Graham's a type of wheat, wheat, biscuits. It's a biscuity type, biscuit based ice cream, bit like cookie dough. Very popular in America, Graham ice cream. But now we're looking at the £5,000 answer. This one, undeniably, is weird. But the fact is, it does exist. And if you'd have gone on the internet and done your research, and we have had some brilliant answers, but if you'd have really, really dug deep, you could have come up with this, so it's no good going, oh, that's impossible. No, none of these answers are impossible. If you do a little bit of work, you can get them. This is tough, though. £5,000 is going to be won. This is world famously unique to Bill and Ben's, not the flower pot men, but Bill and Ben's ice cream parlour in the United States. It's a very, very unusual flavour for ice cream. They did it to prove that they can make ice cream out of anything and make it delicious. Look, for five grand, here's a clue. Think something Thermidor. Something Thermidor. It's got pincers. And you can go into posh restaurants and pick one out of a tank and say, I'll have that one. It, it, it doesn't actually look like that. That's a silver one. So come on now. And don't forget, if you win this money, right, if you win this money, feel free to share some of it, share some of it, because we don't want you to be shellfish. <laughs> we don't want you to be shellfish. £5,000 is going to be won in the next few moments of this television program. <laughs> Let's double it to ten. Ten. £1,000 if you are the first one through to tell me that completed word. I can't sleep for the excitement. Eh? Well, you don't want to sleep yet. You can do it in a few moments, though, when we go off the air. What is it? What is the answer? Think something ther Thermidor. Uh, and there it what, is. I'll do a lap dance for you, mate, for 15 grand. Well, you can win 10 grand and forget the lap dance. £10,000 oh, yeah. is going to be won by somebody watching this show in just a few moments. When we go off the air tonight, everybody's going to be a winner because, hey, wonderful stuff coming up on ITV1 in just a few moments of time. I think my mate Carol Smiley's on with the People's Court. I think I might be wrong. That might be tomorrow. I don't know. I'm just filling time. Come on now. It rhymes with... Blobster. Good show. Mm. 2.38 at the most before we take a caller. Have I got any more emails that I need to read tonight? 
Uh, Greggles, you rock my bottom. Will you marry me? No. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, hang on a minute. Dear Greggles, please give me a mention. Derek James Overy in sale. Derek James Overy. Well, of course you're going to get a mention with a silly name like that, aren't you? Derek James Overy. Don't, I don't need egging on to, to mention that. Uh, just over two minutes at the most before we take a caller. For £10,000, that five grand there, that five grand there, wadge them together, that's what you'll be taking out of the Quizmania coffers. It looks something like this, but don't ask me for the box as well. That's ours. Ten grand. It rhymes with Bobster. It's not Flobster. What a good try, thanks for your call. Come on, then. <laughs> Getting ready to chuck this at you. That laugh there, by the way, belongs to Dawn. Dawn from Shropshire. And we happen to know that she is playing the game at the moment. Producer Stu's very happy about that. Stop the music, please! <laughs> Ten grand. It's going to go. Who's going to win it? If you're on the phone trying to get through, it could be you. Everybody has an equal chance. Just in case I don't get a chance to say this at the end of the show, <coughs> tomorrow night, Debster and me, once again, we'll be with you for more Quizmania Haction. It's French for action. You don't know upset you don't want to upset Rooney, do you? Woo! You're live on Quizmania, hello. Hello. Hello, who's this? It's Dylan. Dylan? Yes. Where are you from, Dylan? Reading. Dylan in Reading in Berkshire. Yeah. Ice cream flavours is the Lob category. You've had the clue. Give me the answer. Lobster. Dylan, what do you do for a living? I'm a porter. You're a porter? Yeah. So you're always carrying people's bags and stuff like that? Yep. Let someone else carry your bags on holiday or whatever you want to do with the money. Yeah. You've just won £10,000! You're joking! No! Yeah. You've got it! Yeah. It's yours, matey! Dylan, it's true. Ten thousand pounds is yours. Who's there with you? I'm, I've got. I'm gonna wait. My wife up in a minute. Hold on a minute. I'm do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Quick. 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 We're off the air in twenty Wait, seconds. I just win ten thousand pounds. Hello. Hello. I'm still here. What did she say? She can't believe it. No. Where? What's her name? Carrie. Carol. Carol. Carrie. 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 Carry, which is what you do to people's bags, because you're a reporter. Um, yes, she's sleeping. Ten grand. Ten grand. Mate, stay on the line. We'll take your details. We'll get it to you. What a nice way to end the show. We're back tomorrow night. It's Quiz Mania. Until tomorrow. I'll do a lot of dance for you, mate, for 15 grand. <laughs>